Well, today is the National Day of Unplugging. It's a day to disconnect from your devices and see what else is going on in the world. Sounds easy, but for most of us, maybe not so much. John Shanway is here with a look at the challenge of unplugging. I'm right in the middle of Wordle. I know. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> There's so much we're connected to. Right, and it is a challenge. And in fact, the more connected you are, the tougher to pass to unplug. The electronic gadgets have become part of who we are. But it's also just part of what we do every day. But psychiatrist Dr. Gary Swanson, who specializes in behavioral health at AHN, says our electronic connections may be a bit in excess. Uh, kids 8 to 12 are spending about four to six hours a day on the screen. Uh, teens are spending about nine hours a day on the screen. And he says it doesn't suddenly stop when we become an adult. It has become a tool that we use for work and staying connected to family and friends. That makes sense. You're going to have some connections there, but too much of it clearly gets in the way. Of normal interactions, and we know it too. Um, I've been trying a little bit to stay off social media because I think with, you know, seasons changing and all that, I think it's be good for everyone, you know, mentally to just get a refresh and, you know, get started with whatever you want to do. But going cold turkey on unplugging day, really? Unplugged isn't necessarily the way I would go, but certainly reducing your use to a, a, a reasonable level one hour or so a day. And that'll be hard enough for people who are spending nine hours a day on, on, on screens. But Dr. Swanson says you can trade screen time for green time. I'm spending out time in nature or outside. Yeah, take a walk. Dr. Swanson says screen time can lead to things that we don't really realize that aren't so good, like a lack of sleep, mood swings controlled by the electronic input, and weight gain, just to name a few on a very long list. Okay, I, you, here's the thing. I consider myself house manager, and this is how I manage my house. And okay. so that makes it a little bit more difficult. And also, it, it feels like outside of work, if you aren't online in some form, the world is kind of passing you by. You're missing stuff. Yeah, that is the societal pressure, shall we say, that if you're not connected, you're missing something. But those who have reduced their electronic footprint say, and Dr. Swanson has seen it in his patients, it can be freeing and they find themselves actually happier. Coming up, you'll hear from a woman who disconnected, albeit inadvertently, but she did disconnect and we'll tell you what her experience has been. So she lost her phone? So yeah, <laughs> exactly. That is exactly is what really? happened. Oh, God. I didn't mean to give it away. No, that's okay. Chad. She I did. Find, I find myself clutching the phone more as you're talking as you about start. this, John. I don't want to give it up. And, if you, and right. if you forget it, you feel naked. <laughs> it's true. All right. All right. Thanks, John.